Hi Legends! Welcome back! Today we're going to be watching Penelope. This is a movie I've loved since my childhood and no one talks about it. Like, what is that about? I have not seen a single video on YouTube about this movie. I've not seen anyone mention this movie. It's a bloody classic! I would consider it a British classic. I always remember as a child it was constantly on the TV. Also the cast, we've got Christina Ricci? James Mackers, James McAvoy, Reese Witherspoon, and we've got someone else, but she's been in so many things. All the cast is stunning. Anyway, this movie was my sexual awakening because I liked both of them. And I still do. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna watch this. Don't forget to subscribe, check out my socials, and join the Patreon if you want to see the full length reaction to this movie. Oh my goodness, the same people that did Twilight did this movie and this came out I think in the same year as Twilight so a little bit overshadowed it was. I don't think it got respect the respect it deserved. Like this movie really did scream at me and just say bisexual 12 year old 11 year old me. Mm. I didn't have a clue. Grandfather Ralph had a fling with Clara, a lowly servant girl. Am I? When he told his family of his plans to marry Clara. They're like, ooh, peasant, how dare you, peasant. Peasant boy, peasant girl. So Ralph married someone more suitable. Bruh, do they mean more suitable as in like family? They're like, he's your distant cousin. Blech. Clara's mother, the town witch, came to the Wilhern house seeking revenge. Gubbos. And only when one of your own kind claims this daughter as their own, till death do they part, will the curse be broken. See, Miss Thing here. Sorry. That's rude. I didn't mean it like that. Miss Girly here. When she said only to one of your own claims. Now, I think she should have been a little bit more clear about what that meant. Because what it could sound like is she's furthering the whole incest thing. Mm, we don't want that, do we now? Yeah. Maybe the fam does, but we don't. <laughs> you know. So if she could have been a little bit more clear, it would have been lovely. But anyway, we move. But as luck would have it, they gave birth to all sons. Who had all sons? Who had all sons? Who had all That's such a musty family line. There was no flavour, no spice. Which means that the firstborn Wilhern girl <laughs> was me. This movie really just shows how musty the human being population can be. That just one slight difference in her face made everyone like kind of shun her and be disgusted by her. It's like she just looks different. Honestly, a girlie looks really cute. But regardless, even if she doesn't look cute to you, it's just like a whole thing about humanity, right? Like, you should just treat people with kindness no matter what. Like, who cares if someone has a pig nose? No one. But clearly a lot of people actually would. Like, you know, let's be honest. As the movie shows. Like you, I felt imprisoned most of my life. Your good looks and your good name. Oh my god, this yes, boy exactly. spewed so much rubbish. I was ready to fight him. Oh lord. And he had the most British name, Edward. <gasps> Edward Cullen. Summit Entertainment were really on something there. No! Hello. <gasps> the disrespect. <laughs> she's not a pig, she's a human. Do you think I showed your father my mole on our third date? No, I had the good sense to wait until after we were married. Imagine a mole being a deal breaker. You need to get a grip. Girly kind of cute. But you are not your nose. You are not you. You're, you're, you're somebody else. Bruh, imagine having different features and someone just says you're not you because of your features. <sighs> oh so my god, that turtle neck's about to choke my back. Yeah, sweetheart, I got a fish. Oh. Let him breathe. <sighs> oh. And always did what she thought best to protect me. <gasps> First, from reporters. That is a violation. Oh my eye! More power to her. Because how dare you be in someone's cupboards? Cupboards? Cupboards. She faked my death. That is so dark. All over a nose. She pretended her daughter was eh. Over a nose. She's adorable. We should celebrate our differences, not discourage them. Look, see how messed up that was? None of the kids actually said anything or did anything rude. They were just curious. And I reckon if she just played with the kids, they would have accepted her. 
It's literally only the mother's insecurities that ruins it all for Penelope. Hello. <laughs> me, that's my eyesight. I can't see a thing. Call me Daredevil, because <laughs> I can't see a thing. It's about the small things in life. Would anyone actually be bothered to write about him? When I was a child, I wanted nothing more than to have Penelope's bedroom. Because this is a dream bedroom. It also screams rich and wealthy, but it's a dream bedroom. The swing in her bedroom, oh, that got me every time. Where is Larry Fonson? <laughs> I wonder if he didn't buy musical theatre because of the where? <laughs> he was ready to break into the song. Troy Efron who? Troy Efron? I'm a flop. Wait, 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 hold, hold, hold on there. Victor. Are you ready, kids? Is that insensitive? I don't think so. <laughs> Girlie has a nicer nose than me. Mine? It bumps. It bumps in. I... There's a bump. I could jump off of it like a little cliff. The bump's like a cliff. I could jump. But it be jumping. Everyone better be jumping. He's not me, and I'm not him, and I'm not me. And don't you forget it. It's just so twisted. That's so messed up. I mean, it's... <gasps> oh, God, that was scary. I don't remember that. Ooh. Ooh. Shock me back to life. Oh, my. Put me on the table. Get a doctor in here, please. Find any blue bloods lining up to help us not like they need the money. Down and out blue bloods do. This is when I think of Jack. Isn't his name Jack? I think I remember his name anywhere. Oh my god, it's Mackers! Oh my god! It's Mackers! Oh, he's so pretty. The prettiest man I've ever seen. I think James McAvoy really peaked in beauty in this movie. Like, this is the prettiest I've ever seen him in my life. Now, some may disagree with this little Troy Bolton haircut he's got going on, but this is peak Maccas for me. <gasps> do I know you? Oh, we gonna do it. But I know you. You got the wrong guy. And that is that true. Worth your while. I love how he says you got the wrong guy because full circle moment, that makes sense by the end because he doesn't give in to the pressure of the money to ruin someone else's life. Just how ugly is this girl? Bro, how old are you? She's 18, he's an old fart. He's probably only got two kids and a wife at home. No wonder I've had like zero hope in men growing up because there's this whole room of men plus many more who have all rejected Penelope because of one feature, her nose. I'm Penelope and you must be. Late for tea. Because imagine having human decency, hmm? you know, not running because of someone looking different. Oh my. For seven years I've been watching them run. She's braver than me because I would be so down bad, so just crying in my room all day. And that's how everyone reacted to me. She is one strong lady. No matter how much I want to believe there's one man who won't run away. One man who... who... He's in the room right now. Oh my goodness, he's in the room, Maccas. Ah! Did I what? Don't mess with me. Well, I'm messing with you? Oh my goodness. Why are you here? Look, I'm sorry. I would take one look at him and be so just on my knees down bad. Ah, not in that way, you dirty, messed up people. On my knees like I'm praying for a man like him. Oh. Gotcha. Oh my. <laughs> he just spent most of this scene just looking at himself. I wouldn't complain. Penelope. Oh, the way she has the power to not respond to him. Look at the face. <laughs> We'll be back tomorrow. I knew it. I knew you were there. <laughs> yeah. He's different. He's one of the other guys. He's so much prettier. I bet there's no incest in that family line in this movie, huh? That's hard to find. Still, the 2,000 bucks that aren't your favorite, he chose the one that is. 
It was destiny. It was fate. Oh my. Oh, she's down bad. I love the way she's rereading the book because she saw that face. Ah. <clears throat> this movie is such a classic. I beg, if you are watching this far and you have not seen the movie on your own, go watch it on your own. It's such a good movie. Oh, I love this movie so much. It deserves so much more. Bro, I bet they haven't cleaned that in years. That is dusty, musty, crusty. I'm not putting my lips to it. Mm. What do you play? Your heart. Yes. <laughs> the game of love. Newbie <laughs> cringy, you know? Like, I love Maccas, but I there's something about people singing in movies that just scares me a little bit. This man was sneaky though, because he be saving his actual instrument till last. He knew exactly what he was doing. Horticultural, uh, what? A horticultural. Oh my goodness, his name is Max, not Jack. Oh, I'm a dumb pooter. Oh, the pain. How about you and me heading down to the Cloverdale pub right now? Thanks. Maybe later. Penelope, come on. Oh, if he was begging me to go out with him. Come on, you gotta go. Get I out would there risk sometime. it. Ooh. I honestly can't remember when he first sees her though. I remember the bathroom scene when she goes to that Halloween party. Ooh, that's engraved in my brain forever. But we'll get to that. Let's spend every weekend there. Just hanging on a bench, writing stupid love songs, people watching. You used to? You don't do that anymore? Do you not believe in love? <laughs> oh my goodness, he doesn't believe in love. He's a tortured soul. What are you doing instead? I gamble. <laughs> I am a James McAvoy stan, is what I'm reaffirming here. Oh, <laughs> if I met him, mm -mm, I think I'd cry. I think I'd actually cry or something would just, I'd pee myself. Shut him up. I'm talking unkissable ugly, nightmare ugly, puke. <gasps> Listen to me, you little worm. I know you're coming. You little worm. Yes. Oh my god, this is so hot of him. You licked me. Edward. What? I would go get a test done if he licked me. Or he even touched me. Mm, we're getting a test. Mm, I'm getting all those little jabs and injections. Oh, every time he does that little over his shoulder. Ooh, that hits deep. Sunshine. <gasps> oh, this only just hit me that I recognise this song from This Is Us. <gasps> I think she comes out, doesn't she? And she puts a little hand over him. <gasps> I didn't realize we saw he saw her this early on. Oh no! I know he has like a second yeah, of shock. Oh, oh no! Not him breaking some things. A girl he is so cute and pretty. <laughs> all the tension, all the tension. <gasps> oh, this movie is a blueprint for what I don't know, but it is. It is a blueprint. So you gonna go out there and touch her nose? I think that's a bit of a violation though, sir. Sir, this is a violation. Oh no! Monster. Did you get it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> oh, that's so hot of him. Yes, wreck me like that camera. <gasps> he does parkour. He's a parkour. <gasps> he just gets better and better. Ooh. Oh, he was out here fighting for her. This is a man for me. I know this face repulses you, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't dream of asking you to accept. That's that. so sad that she no, says no, that. Me. What if the curse can never be broken? And then I'll kill myself. <gasps> I promise. I promise. Oh my! I did not remember it being this dire as a child. Me. Also, I don't think they should have laid it on this stick so quickly. This might be one of their issues as well. You know, like, I would uh, they have a couple more dates. I can't. Get out. I'm... Get out! Is it so bad that he said I can't? She's had about three dates with him. And they think he's unreasonable to say he can't marry her? That's such a leap. See, if I had a swing in my room, that would solve any issues I ever had in this life. I, But I would be worried about the ceiling, you know? He's a sneaky little shit, pretending. Oh, I don't remember how to play. I can't play. Oh, I'm I'm just you know, I'm so out of practice. Boise, shut up. You're a pianist. Sweetheart, Penelope, is that you? Yes, mother. I'm just going to make some cocoa. They kept her prisoner in this house. Literally a prisoner. This was a hostage situation. 
That's wild. This was a hostage situation. She's breaking free. Sovereign. Fly. Watching this as an adult, this movie is really sad. But that is some fine real estate. I don't know what the parents did. Well, I guess they kind of inherited the wealth. Rich for life. Eh, can't relate. <laughs> Let's go. How did they have cameras everywhere like that? Was Maccas putting them around the house? I mean, he did do them dirty by doing that. Honestly, if this movie was in 2020, Penelope would have thrived. Masks and all. The mother really would have had no excuse. Regardless though, she should have been allowed to live a normal life because all that was different was her nose. Many people have different noses. That's just a thing in life. They really said my daughter does not fit the beauty standard, so we must, we must hide her. Ooh, that's, that's scary parents. That is sad. It's mainly just the mother though, but the dad just let her do it. So he's just as much to blame. Okay, you know what? Can't hold it any longer. Come with me. Hmm. I have and I can't leave you alone with the phones. Oh damn, she really meant it? I thought they were referencing something else, but no, she a girly. Oh my, she's got a toilet and she's bringing her husband with her. Honestly, tag team, I love that. Is your relationship really stable if you aren't going to the toilet together? Room eight is available. Thank you. Would you mind coming back here so I can check you in? See, they've set their daughter up to have no life skills. That's more dangerous than anything else. More pigging. Edward deserves nothing. Edward Cullen? Not talking about him. This Edward? Eh. Throw him in a blender, put that on, call it a day, because he is not the man. I mean, can you really expect much from someone with that kind of bloodline? Incestuous? Eh. I thought you went home. Slept for eight blissful hours. He's been Next there the that breakfast. long? Just the wife goodbye. That is sad. This movie kind of be depressing. <laughs> as a child, it wasn't this deep to me, but as an adult, Ooh, I look at this with a new lens. Kind of look like he's in a music video right now, you know? Try to remember on your son. That's exactly what I'm trying to forget. As he should, your son sucks. Your son is a menace. No one likes your son. Your son is musty, dusty, crusty. Oh. <laughs> I don't blame her. If I saw two men running at me, I'd be scared too, regardless if they're runners. She popped off. I wonder if women were running at her, would she still be scared as well? Or does she just have that inherent woman feel about men where we're scared of them? Men be scary. No, not, not, just, not, just, not just any pig. They are okay, so okay, mean yeah, for mean. this. This is so messed up. I don't care what redemption either of these men get in this movie. This is just so disgusting of them. I'd be so mad if he has his hot breath over my neck. Uh-uh, no, not for me. Because when he realises she's just a normal fangs. girl. There are no fangs. Huh. Edward is a piece of shit. I didn't realise she goes to the pub that he recommended. She's not some freaking payday. She sold me the photo herself. Yeah, apparently she's out there on her own. Ooh, ooh. Wearing her independence. He's got a lady to go find. Ooh, go find your woman. <gasps> she, he knows where to find her. She's at the pub he recommended. Oh my goodness, they can go on that little first date. Oh my. My dad. <laughs> oh, his smile. Oh, there is a Jack in this movie. The pub owner guy. I definitely knew that. Wasn't a coincidence. Like, what guy looks at me and thinks picket fence? Plus, he's crazy. And I'm done dating crazy, you know? Done. <gasps> he's ready to swoop in. I see the way he's looking at her. Ooh, I, they're kind of cute. Thanks, Jack. You're the best. Cute. Subplot romance I completely forgot about, but I'm really here for. Hey, Sam, long time no see. Wow, look who's back. Oh, my. Uh, I completely blanked this man from this movie and I think that was a blessing. He did not need to be in this movie. Russell Crowe, I think that's his name, he was in way too many things, okay, back in the day that he had no business being in. This movie could have survived without him. This was unnecessary trauma. This is such a cute, adorable movie. I love it so much. Oh 
Oh, this movie is so important. You're still in my mind. They're both on each other's mind. How could she be doing all these things without being seen? She can't. That's how. She can't be far. We just have to keep walking. These two are the real villains of the movie, though. I don't think that's an unpopular opinion. I think most people with two brain cells know that they're the true villains. They're the ones who made it such a big deal, her nose. Which is so messed up. I'm mad. I mean, also, these two are way too unhinged because at this point, she was 18, so she can technically do whatever she wants. They're not running. She should have just branched out, drop a skincare line, own a makeup line. I don't know, you know, let's milk this crowd dry. The population is stupid enough anyway. Some money, I'm running low. Absolutely not. You get in that car. Mom, they want to know if you chained me up in the basement. <laughs> I love that for her. Threaten them. Yeah, hell yeah. You've got some blackmail there. Penelope, is there anything you'd like to say to the public? Uh, My parents suck. Uh, eh? That woman, that thing, belongs in a cage. Absolutely vile human being. See, the rest of the public knew that there was nothing wrong with Penelope. Yes, they made her a spectacle, which is stupid because there doesn't need to be a spectacle about her. They don't know her like I do. I don't even matter for two seconds. I'm so fed up with Edward. You musty piece of shit. I didn't realise how little screen time Max and Penelope have together. We're more than halfway through the movie and they've only had a couple scenes together. Very good. <gasps> oh, speak of the devil. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> My insides literally erupted because of him. You know, you inspired me. Doing what you did, going off on your own like that. They're each other's yeah. muses. I'm not. I have to go. Oh my, oh my. I could not turn him down like that. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. I'd listen to anything he has to say. I'm sorry I ran on my feelings. Oh, is this a joke? Penelope, don't make the boy big. Look at that face. I'd make him beg after what he did. Everything he conspired with. Uh-uh. You deserve hell. You're just a talking pig to those people. Bruh. Oh my. The mum is infuriating. Are you prepared to walk away from your one and only chance? Uh, yes. One and only chance at a normal life. Our, like, shut up. Our who? Will you marry me? No. Uh, and why? Ew. Ew, 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 ew. I will say this actor is very good though because he has me hating him and he played it very well. I really feel infuriated. Armed robbery. Come on, Max Campion? Yeah, I just got the call. He's already confessed. Oh. He stole that guy's name, CA. My memory is failing me. What? I'm here to see Max Campion. Yeah, hey, I'm Max Campion. Am I right? Was his name really Jack? You got the wrong guy. <gasps> oh, he just played along the smart pizza. But, um, spicy, I didn't remember that at all. No, what about the guy you play poker with? Don't give me James. I swear to God, if his name is James, if his name is James, I'm going to eliminate myself. Uh, is Johnny Martin. Johnny okay. Martin. Johnny Martin. Poor loser. I mean, better than James, I guess. Johnny? I don't remember him being called Johnny. Since when were these are basic? Johnny? We've got Johnny Edward and Max. They put no thought into these names. They just spun a wheel and chose, didn't they? Can you help me with that, sir? Thank you. It's <gasps> just over there. Oh my, he is down bad for her. Oh, 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 oh my god, I love my man so much. He really was pulling out all the stops for her. Max. How do you deny him? He's so down bad. He's ready to drop it all. You make me sick. Why? Yeah, you tell him. He should have decked him here. Getting married is all it takes to break the, uh, ooh, the curse. W why not you? You're forgetting, man. I'm not Max, so? But if it's true I'm love, if it's true love. But the thing is, it's just all about self-acceptance, so eh. We didn't need a man here. Of course we don't need a man. When do we ever need a man? Ah, sorry. Hey, honey, look at you. So here for them. I completely forgot about those two, but now that I'm rewatching it, here for them. I love it for them. It seems really nice, you know? Mm -mm. <laughs> that poor judge of character. Never mind, I'll take everything back. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What? I have a wedding to go to. Meet Johnny Martin. 
Oh, he was playing matchmaker. Don't you think Penelope's entitled to know that he lied about everything? That he doesn't have the power to break the curse. Why on earth would she need to know that? Don't you see? Maybe that's the only reason he said no. I don't think the mother is good for my blood pressure. You look. You don't look stupid. This mother is going to be my villain origin story. This day forward, until death do you part. Reese with has been popped up with that. Mm -mm, yeah, mm -mm. so mm -mm from all of us. No. No. Yeah. Oh my! Yes, Gilbert. She got them with that, and this is the shot of the century. Eh. This dumb bitch best stop knocking because ah, 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 she is infuriating. Please, we are one yes away from I I just absolutely hate how everything involving Penelope she says we as if they're one because this is her own life and she keeps keeps saying we as if she owns Penelope and I just hate that way of parenting. I hate when parents think they have any ownership over their child like they think they own them and can do whatever they want and say whatever they want. Like, no, shut up, sit down. Musty, dusty, crusty. I like myself the way I am. <laughs> so dang dramatic, though. She almost get, got whiplash from accepting herself. I don't remember it being that dramatic, but that was, that was something else. <laughs> but it's just sad that she had to conform to normal normal beauty standards for even her mother to accept her let's pause it there also the big like kick up the ass here is just that if the mother had not hounded penelope so much about her looks penelope may have accepted herself a lot sooner and broken the curse a lot sooner dumb pooter mm. i'd had the power all along it's not the power of the curse it's the power you give the curse i think a little turn up like you know right there would be sweet wouldn't it look at that what she deserves a right slap across the face. Just send her down those stairs. I don't normally condone violence, but push her. Send her flying. Turns out Jake had a secret of his own and figured we all might be better off if my mother just kept quiet for a while. See, with the mother here and how happy the father is that she's being silenced. Like, look at that smile. That's his Christmas present. Normally I would say like a little bit of a social commentary. I would add a little bit of social commentary there about how in society, we really promote the whole nagging wife and just plain husband that doesn't like his nagging wife. And a lot of things promoted that back in the day, and they still do. They're those stereotypes of women in the relationship being the annoying one or whatever, when that's just simply not true. But with this case, I agree. She needed to be silenced. Lady was a danger to society. It was too much. And then came Halloween. I'm not being rude, but how did she become a teacher? Don't you need a degree or something to be a teacher? And then Wanda couldn't hold on to the secret any longer. <sighs> We're about to have the hottest scene in cinematic history ever. I'm so excited. This is one of the main reasons I rewatched the movie, okay? Because this scene is cinematic excellence, it's cinematic poeticness it's cinematic it's, it's cinematic history okay it looks like a good party he's like i recognize that voice anywhere that's how they first met just her voice good for you it's just the tension in this scene the way that he kind of notices that it's her but the mysterious like thing that he doesn't actually know if it's her or not just their chemistry was next level things I take off the mask <laughs> There's someone. She meant a lot to you. Oh, the tension, the tension divides. It, it's everything to me. This was romance. This was peak romance. This still is peak romance to me. Oh, it's too good. What did she want? To be free. <laughs> he saw her. You lied to me. I lost <gasps> piano. Oh, and, and when he grabs said... her. Tell me this is not the hottest thing you've seen in your life. Tell me now and then lie to me if you say no. I don't have the power to break the curse. Okay, it's okay. okay. I did. Turns out I did. <gasps> oh, it's too good. The way he just grabbed her wrist. Oh, no. Me thinks we might have to watch this whole scene again because it's too good. 
It's just the initial part where he pulls her back because he realizes it's her. We're gonna go back. It's too good. Mm-mm. It's too good. We're going back. <laughs> you lied to me. I guessed piano. And he Look at the way he knew he. The way he just knew it was her and pulled her in. Ooh. Ooh, it was so smooth. It was so hot. It's okay. Okay, just one more time for the serotonin. <laughs> I would not apologize for rewatching the scene. It's just. Is the most magical romantic moment I've ever seen. <laughs> they made cinematic history. They should have won the MTV EMA Best Kiss. Whoever took it that year, probably Twilight. Disrespectful. I won't even lie. Twilight does not deserve it. They should have got it. Oh, this movie deserves so much more. Nice, Johnny. I know. <laughs> It'd be funny if all along she just hated the name Johnny and she's like, mm, actually, no, you know what? I can't get with Johnny. Mm -mm, not a name I can be with. So there we were. Ooh, to be held like that by James Mackers. I love how I give him a nickname as if I'm on that level with him. Up here I am. It's not the power, power of the curse, it's, it's the power, power you give the curse. Hmm. It'd be funny if we thought that that was her class of kids, but no, that was just their kids together. They went crazy. Now, why he was just randomly rowing his boat out here with his camera, I guess maybe just sightseeing and getting some pictures, but um, it was very sus. Yay for human decency. It's the bare minimum, but yay. He did it. Oh, it's too good. I'm obsessed with that movie. It is my everything. Even if you've watched all the way to the end with me here, I still highly suggest you go watch this all on your own from start to finish without me talking. I think it's a true movie just to watch and enjoy for yourself. I can happily rewatch that any time of the year. Oh, it's just so good. I need to rewatch it more. Clearly I've not enough because there's a few things there that I've completely forgotten about. I think the last time I properly watched this all the way through, I was either a teen, like early teens, or I was in the single digits. Oh, that's a long time ago. I just, James McAvoy, Christina Ritchie, I think it's Ritchie or Ritchie, I don't know how to say her last name. They did things to me as a child, okay? I, crushes left and right, they had me confused, but I was not mad. Um, so <laughs> it's just such a good movie to me. I love it so much. And that scene where he finds out it's her and he grabs her by the arm and he's like oh my god and then they pfft. oh it's so good it's too good anyway i'm gonna go i could ramble about this all day but i'll leave that there bye bye see you next time eh. <laughs>